Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Starting with eight hundred and eighty-six. And when my servants question thee concerning me, then surely I am nigh. I answer the prayer of the suppliant when he crieth unto me. So let them hear my call and let me, and let them trust in me in order that they may be led aright. It is made lawful for you to go into your wives on the night of the fast, they are raiment for you, and ye are raiment for them. Allah is aware that ye were deceiving yourselves in this respect, and he hath turned in mercy toward you and relieved you, so hold intercourse with them, and seek that which Allah hath ordained for you, and eat and drink until the white thread becometh distinct to you from the black thread of the dawn. Then strictly observe the fast till nightfall, and touch them not, but be at your devotions in the mosques. These are the limits imposed by Allah, so approach them not. And thus, Allah expoundeth his revelations to mankind, that they may ward off evil. Now, if one is in the retreat, ah, kafun, um, one has further restrictions. And that includes not doing one of the things that one's fasting from during the period in between the fasts, the intermediate, the, what they call it, intermittent fasting. Um, but some communities, they invent further restrictions upon themselves. They go without their wives. Um, and, you know, a certain way until, you know, the fasting days are over. But the fasting is only for the days, so. And eat not up your property among yourselves in vanity, nor seek by it to gain the hearing of the judges, that ye may knowingly devour a portion of the property of others wrongfully. May ask thee of new moons, say they are fixed seasons for mankind, and for the pilgrimage it is not righteousness, that you go to houses by the backs thereof. But the righteous man is he who wardeth off, so go to the houses by the gates thereof, and observe your duty to Allah, that ye may be successful. Fight in the way of Allah against those who fight against you, but begin not hostilities. Lo, Allah loveth not aggressors and slay them wherever ye find them, and drive them out of the places whence they drove you out, for persecution is worse than slaughter, and fight not with them at the inviolable place of worship until they first attack you there, but if they attack you, then slay them, such is the reward of disbelievers, but if they desist, then lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful, and fight them until persecution is no more and religion is for Allah. But if they desist, then let there be no hostility except against wrongdoers. The forbidden month for the forbidden month and forbidden things in retaliation. And one who attacketh you, attack him in a manner as he attacked you. Observe your duty to Allah and know that Allah is with those who ward off. Spend your wealth for the cause of Allah, and be not cast by your own hands to ruin, and do good. Lo, Allah loveth the beneficent. Perform the pilgrimage and the visit for Allah. And if ye are prevented, then send such gifts 
as can be obtained with ease, and shave not your heads until the gifts have reached their destination. And whoever among you is sick, or hath an ailment of the head, must pay a ransom of fasting, or almsgiving, or offering. And when ye are in safety, then whosoever contenteth himself with the visit or the pilgrimage, such gifts as can be had with ease, and whoever cannot find, then a fast of three days while on the pilgrimage, and of seven when ye have returned, and that is ten in all, and that is for him whose folk are not present at the inviolable place of worship. Observe your duty to a law. And know that a law is severe in punishment. Now it can be said that the uh, 10th through the 13th of the 12th month is, or fasting is forbidden, just like the other Eid, starting the 10th month, which is, you know, some say one day, others say three days, um, but regardless, um, so uh, the ninth day is recommended anyways, so two before that, and um, nowadays you, we don't have to, um, people can technically get the pilgrimage done between the 8th and the 10th, but the pilgrimage is the well-known months. And whoever is minded to perform the pilgrimage therein, there is no lewdness, nor abuse, nor angry conversation on the pilgrimage. And whoever, and whatsoever good ye do, Allah knoweth it. So make provision for yourselves, for the best provision is to ward off evil, and therefore keep your duty unto me. O men of understanding, it is no sin for you that ye seek the bounty of your Lord, but when ye press on in the multitude from Arafat, remember Allah by the sacred monument, remember him as he hath guided you, although before ye were of those astray. Then hasten onward from the place whence the multitude hasten onward, and ask forgiveness of Allah, lo, Allah is forgiving merciful, and when ye have completed your devotions, then remember Allah as ye remember your fathers, or with a more lively remembrance, but of mankind is he who saith, Our Lord, give unto us in the world, and he hath no portion in the hereafter. And of them is he who saith, Our Lord, give unto us in the world that which is good, and in the hereafter that which is good, and guard us from the doom of fire. Rabbanatana fi dunya hasanatan wa fil aperate hasanatan wa Oh, I, I should have put that. Hasan, Hasanat Tawwa. You know, in both those cases. But um, it's recommended to say this in the final sittings of the prayer. From them is in store a goodly portion out of that which they have earned. Allah is swift at reckoning. Remember. Remember Allah through the appointed days. Then whoso hasteneth by two days, it is no sin for him. And whoso delayeth, it is no sin for him. And that is for him who wardeth off. Be careful of your duty to Allah, and know that unto him ye will be gathered, 
and of mankind there is he whose conversation on the life of this world pleaseth thee and he calleth the law to witness as to that which is in his heart yet he is the most rigid of opponents and when he turneth away his effort in the land is to make mischief therein and to destroy the crops and the cattle and allah loveth not mischief and when it is said unto him be careful of thy duty to allah pride taketh him to sin hell will settle his account an evil resting place And of mankind is he who would sell himself, seeking the pleasure of Allah, and Allah hath compassion on bondmen. You know, those who... devotees. O ye who believe, come all of you into submission, and follow not the footsteps of the devil. Lo, he is an open enemy for you. Islam is how do you render submission into uh, Arabic? Well, I mean, submission is rendered from that. Um, and if ye slide back after the clear proofs have come to you, then know that Allah is mighty wise. Wait they for naught else than that Allah should come unto them in the shadows of the clouds with the angels. Then the case would be already judged. All cases go back to Allah. Ask of the children of Israel how many a clear revelation we gave them. He who altereth the grace of Allah after it hath come unto him. Lo, Allah severe in punishment. Beautified is the life of the world for those who disbelieve. And they make a jest of the believers, but those who keep their duty to Allah will be above them on the day of resurrection. Allah giveth without stint to whom he will. Mankind were one community, and Allah sent prophets as bearers of good tidings and as warners, and revealed therewith the scripture with the truth that it may judge between mankind concerning that where they differed. And only those under whom was given the bird concerning it, after clear proofs have, had come unto them through hatred of one another, and Allah by his will guided those who believe unto the truth of that concerning which they differed. Allah guideth whom he will unto a straight path, or think ye that ye will enter paradise while yet there hath not come unto you the like of those who passed away before you. Affliction and adversity befell them, and they were shaken as with earthquake, till the messenger and those who believed along with him said, When cometh Allah's help, now surely Allah's help is nigh. Avatar, in other words, other than, you know, the Arabic, Ar-Rasul, um, Apostle, um, I don't know. The, the, some of these have word replacements that, uh, for the translation that they haven't quite pointed out. And if they're rendering a new version, they really should. It's not scholarly appropriate to do that. Um, but, yeah, sent one. It was... Basically, time and time again, you know, when it says that Jesus was sent, it's in the Bible, it's, you know, the same thing. Europe, Asia, Africa, they all had reference to such individuals who were sent. So don't fall for some ancient alien theory stuff. They never thought of it in their context. They ask thee... What they shall spend, say that which ye spend for good, to parents and your kindred, and orphans, and the needy, and the wayfarer, and whatsoever good ye do, lo, laws aware of it. Welfare is ordained for you, though it is hateful unto you, 
But it may happen that ye hate a thing which is good for you, and it may happen that ye love a thing which is bad for you. Allah knoweth ye know not. They question thee with regard to warfare in the sacred month. Say warfare therein is a gr is a great is a great thing, but turn from the way of Allah. But to turn from the way of Allah and disbelieve in Him and in the imbibable place of worship and to expel its people thence is a greater thing with Allah, for persecution is worse than killing, and they will not cease from fighting against you till they have made you renegades from your religion, if they can, and whose becometh a renegade, and dieth in his disbelief, such are they whose works have fallen both in the world and the hereafter, such are the rightful owners of the fire, they will abide therein. Now, what other faith has said, take a break? You know, even if the fighting, fighting and stuff attempt, well, attempt peacemaking anyways, but an automatic break the first month, the, th the seventh month, the eleventh month, the twelfth month of every year. But of course, you're allowed to defend yourself, so that was, uh, that's, let's make mention of Boo, those who believe and those who immigrate and strive in the way of Allah, these have hope of Allah's mercy, Allah's forgiving, merciful. Jihad. You know, the jihad is um, something, you know, any striving. It has to be God's way. It's not some killing in the name of or anything like that. Um, no, but, you know, what you do is done in the name of God. But the striving goes far beyond um, what people who don't know what jihad, uh, jihad in English is a different word. And they question thee about strong drink and games of chance, say in both is great sin and utility for men, but the sin of them is greater than their usefulness, and they ask thee what they ought to spend, say that which is superfluous, thus Allah maketh plain to you his revelations, that haply ye may reflect. Now in a printing, in a particular printing, that was the last verse. And a comer, intoxicants of any type, not just alcohol, and it was generally thought of as minor intoxicants that were being taken for reasons other than survival or, you know, to cure, an Ill, uh, to get over an illness or something like that. Um, and I'm not talking about, oh, I'm unhappy, I want to take pills. Um, that doesn't count. Um, But this was the last verse. They said, I've read to this through this page, and I'll read more. Well, big surprise. Um, afterwards, they returned to drugs and other illegal behavior. And they also, around this time, reminded at least me that they knew they needed to quit smoking. And no Muslim in their right mind is going to consider tobacco not on the list of commer. Except those ultra-conservative ones that only, well, the sheikh hasn't listed it. It's like, well, who cares what one sheikh does? Does that fit the word? Yes. Upon the world and the hereafter, and they question thee concerning orphans, say to improve their lot is best, and if ye mingle your affairs with theirs, then your brothers, Allah knoweth him who spoileth from him, who improveth, had Allah willed, he could have overburdened you, Allah is mighty and wise. Now this person had done illegal drugs that are even worse on the brain and body than tobacco and alcohol, but 
the actual drug that itself that they were particularly addicted to. Although it sounds like they were addicted to something else before that's super dangerous. Um, this drug is safer than alcohol and tobacco on the body and mind. I mean, the drug itself. But I'm not hypocritical and saying, oh, it's illegal, so I'm going to condemn that. But no, vice is vice. It's a much easier law to uh, follow and enforce than looking over a list and trying to figure out, oh, here's the amount and here's the type of drugs I can use or, you know, something like that. When not idolatrous is, you know, misassociators. Till they believe for low a bleeding bondswoman is better than an idolatrous, although she please you and give not your daughters in marriage to idolaters, till they believe for low a bleeding slave is better than an idolater, though he please you, these inviteth unto the fire, and Allah inviteth unto the garden, and unto forgiveness by his grace, and expounded thus his revelations to mankind, that happily they may remember, and we find that the, the Quran has certain things in multiple places, and family and all that's the half of religion, right? So, the exception of the misassociators, um, is that the men can marry the women of uh, the misassociators that have good re reputations among the people of the book. Now, there are monotheists among them, but uh, let's face it, the Christians aren't monotheists, and a lot of the Jews aren't. A lot of the Jews worship angels and prophets and saints and all that sort of stuff, too. So, that can be the people of the, of the book, but, well, they don't have their complete scripture, but you know what I mean, there's something remaining in what they have as their scripture of the messages that the ancients that preceded them got. So. They question thee concerning menstruation. Say it is an illness, so let women alone at such times, and not go into them till they are cleansed, and when they have purified themselves, go into them, as a law hath enjoined upon you. Truly a law loveth those who turn unto him, and loveth those who have a care for cleanliness. For cleanliness, um, well, the purifying of oneself, the... Oh, in, well, um... But the, the word here, you know, they're going through, not illness, but they're going through difficulty, um, discomfort and such. Some have sadomas, uh, uh, there's a sadomasochistic sort of quality to those who have sex when, with women who are in their menstruation, but that's not allowed, and it's it's a much higher risk for them to get infection in, you know, circumstances where they would never get an infection, so there's reason for that. And other reasons I'm not going to bring up. Um, your women are tilt for you, so go to your tilt as ye will, and send before you for your souls, and fear law, and know that ye will meet him, and give glad tidings to the believers, and make not a law by your oaths a hindrance to your being righteous, and observing your duty unto him, and making peace among mankind. A law is here, knower. A law will not take you to task for that which is in, which is unintentional in your oaths, but he will take you to task for that which your hearts have garnered. A law is forgiving Clement. Those who forswear their wives must wait for months. Then, if they change their mind, lo, a law is forgiving merciful. And if they decide upon divorce, a law is here. Knower, women who are divorced shall wait, keeping themselves apart. 
three courses, and it is not lawful for them that they should conceal that which Allah hath created in their wombs. If they are believers in Allah and the last day, and their husbands would do better to take them back in that case if they desire reconciliation, and they have rights similar to those over them in kindness, and men are a degree above them, Allah is mighty wise. And there are certain biological reasons which are not escaped for a waiting period. And one of them is that a pregnancy could be missed. And often such things are reason to reconcile. One of the chief reasons why some people get divorced and all that is because they, uh, you know, they haven't had children. Divorce must be pronounced twice and then must be retained in honor or released in kindness. And I say, there's a feeling thing. Biologically, it happens too, so. And it is not lawful for you that ye take from women aught of that which ye have given them, except when both fear that they may not be able to keep within the limits the law, and if ye fear that ye may not be able to keep the limits of the law, in that case it is no sin for either of them if the women ransom if the woman ransom herself, these are the limits of the law, transgress them not, for whoso transgresseth for whoso transgresseth a law's limits, such are wrongdoers. Now, this thing where women Marry for the dowry or to take the take the wealth when they leave. No, if they're if they're setting up a divorce, they the man keeps his stuff, he gets his stuff returned. That is something that they can arrange. Now there could be some sort of mercy or gift allowed that escapes that, but you know, women are allowed to uh, initiate the divorce. And the limits are well, whatever your feelings or emotions are not just in marriage, but outside of marriage, you got to do right to people, you know. Um, and if it seems like I'm, you know, um, it's an evocative text, even in translation. Um, so that's what's going on here. It's not that I'm criticizing the text. Um, Although there's, uh, I've pointed out there's some words in translation that didn't quite seem right. And if he hath divorced her, then she is not lawful unto him thereafter, until she hath wedded another husband. Then if he divorce her, it is no sin for both of them that they come together again, if they consider that they are able to observe the limits of a law. These are the limits of a law. He manifesteth them for people who have knowledge. When ye have divorced women, and they have reached their term, then retain them in kindness, or release them in kindness, retain them not to their hurt, so that ye transgress. He who doth that hath wronged his soul. Make not the revelations of a law a laughing stock, but remember a law's grace upon you, and that which he hath revealed unto you of the scripture and the wisdom whereby he doth exhort you. Observe your duty to Allah and know that Allah is aware of all things. Yeah, divorce lawyers would be very disappointed in a lot of this because, you know, they don't get to play their games. Things are already, you know, set in place. And when ye have divorced women, and they reach their term, place not difficulties in the way of their marrying their husbands, if it is agreed between them in kindness. This is an admonition for him among you who believeth in the law and the last day, and that is more virtuous for you and cleaner. Allah knoweth ye know not. Mothers shall suckle their children for two whole years, for those who wish to complete the suckling, the duty of feeding and clothing, nursing mothers in a seemingly manner is upon the father of the child. 
No one should be charged beyond one's capacity. A mother should not be made to suffer because of her child, nor should he to whom the child is born because of his child, and on the heir is incumbent the like of that. If they desire to wean the child by mutual consent and consultation, it is no sin for them. And if ye wish to give your children out to nurse, it is no sin for you, provided that ye pay what is due from you in kindness. Observe your duty to a law, and know that a law is seer of what ye do. Such of you as die and leave behind them wise, they shall wait, keeping themselves apart four months and ten days. And when they reach the term prescribed for them, then there is no sin for you in aught that they may do with themselves in decency. A law is informed of what ye do. There is no sin for you in that which ye proclaim or hide in your minds concerning your troth with women. A law knoweth that ye will remember them, but plight not your troth with women except by uttering a recognized form of words, and do not consummate the marriage until the prescribed is run. Know that Allah knoweth what is in your mind, so beware of him, and know that Allah is forgiving clement. It is no sin for you if ye divorce women while yet ye have not touched them, nor appointed unto them a portion. Provide for them the rich according to his means, and the straitened according to his means, a fair provision, a bounden duty for those who do good. If ye divorce them before ye have touched them, and ye have appointed unto them a portion, then half of that which ye appointed, unless they agree to forego it, or he agreeth to forego it, in whose hand is the marriage tie? A for to forego is nearer to piety, and forget not kindness among yourselves. Allah is here of what ye do. And let's remember that Islam calls for certain um, protections um, for woman's consent. It's not that they're allowed to prevent, um, but the, the person who testified or who would testify that it's in the woman's interest and it's her consent and spoke to her quite, uh, you know, away from the group, <clears throat> which is typically um, the father or some other um, person that she could never marry under any circumstance. But a judge or something can take that place too. Being guardful of your prayers and of the midmost prayer, and stand up with devotion to Allah.